how many times happened to you that when you are doing creating a new prototype and you have to create i don't know a new form you need to give the possibility to the user to add multiple input fields to that form for example they have to add multiple uh, i don't know email address or phone numbers for whatever reason right in this video i'm going to show you how to achieve this using repeaters so if you're interested as usual subscribe to the channel activate the bell put a like a comment and that's it let's get started and here we are so what we have on screen it's a uh, a form that could be whatever right and what I'm going to show you is how to use the repeaters to uh, give the possibility to the user to add multiple lines of certain uh, fields like for example in this case will be the emails so what I'm going to do is to select all the items that should be inside the repeater to be repeated so those items and I create a new repeater now on the repeater data i'm going to delete actually the uh, columns that i don't need for example the add new uh, button i don't need to change the, the the content of the button so i delete the, these columns the input field yes of course i need the index yes of course i need and uh, the delete uh, buttons that is this uh, cross right i don't need so i will delete it so actually on the index, I don't need anything and I will start with only one email on the form. Now we came up with, with this, right? We have one single line of emails. We have all the items that we need. So we have the index. Actually, this is um, not useful for the form itself, but it's important to show you after why um uh, this is in the in the design because i want to show you how exactly the formula that i'm going to get that i'm going to use works so the first thing that we have to do obviously is to give to the this button add new line the possibility to add a new row new interaction on the on the button on click what i have to do is to uh, go on the repeater action add rows on the repeater right and i have to click add row so actually here it it's a bit tricky because uh if i say only okay and i say okay you see add rows on the repeater it says add zero rows so to do the the trick actually you have to click on the fx just click okay and you see it uh, add a new empty row and let's go in preview to see how it looks like so if i add a new line i add a new line i add a new line and as you can see, when I add new lines, actually, uh, you see also automatically uh, actually update the index label, right? And uh, show basically the number of this row. What we can see here is that we have each time that uh, we duplicate, actually the, we add a new row, since the add new line button is inside the same repeater, it's duplicated each time so how to solve this problem it's quite simple but you have to follow me so on the repeater itself i'm going to add a new interaction item loaded and what i'm going to do is to actually hide the button add new line okay i'm going to hide it and what is the condition to hide this button so actually we have two um, variables that will help us here from Axure. That is the item.index. The item.index gives back to us basically the number of the row on which we are, right? And we have another variable that is item count that actually give us the total amount of rows. So actually the condition would be if the value of our item index so actually i'm going to uh, inside the repeater data set and i'm going to select item.index is less than the text value 
of, and again, we open in the repeater data set and we go into item.count and this is the, the, the variable that it creates and that it, it's already correct. So then you have to hide this button, right? What does it mean? It means that if I click and I'm going to show you basically a new line, the item count now is two because we have two lines. And so if the number, right, of the index is less than this value, then you have to hide it. It's, it's quite simple, right? So if I go now in preview and I click add new line, you see? Now that we have three lines, whatever is less than three, right, is hidden. Now let's go back in action. What it, we have to add is uh, another action on the cross. Actually, it's quite simple. That is add a new interaction on click or tap and I have to delete row. And we have already uh, an action for the repeaters that is delete rows, right? I select the repeater and say this. Actually, as you can see here, we have the cross that is already there on the first line. Now, this doesn't, doesn't make sense because if I click, it disappears and I, I cannot go back, right? So the thing is, the idea is that if the line, so the, the item count is equal to one, then you have to hide the cross. Right, so this is quite simple. And what I'm going to do is, so first of all, I'm going to hide this. And on the repeater, I select the uh, repeater and I say, I create a new case. In this new case, I say, if the text value of what? Of the item, where is the item count, okay, is, equal to the value one, okay? So if the total amount of rows is equal to one, okay, then you have to hide what the delete button, hide. Here we toggle the else if, and that's okay. Now, what we have to do is the opposite condition. So I add a new case and I say, else if true then you have to show it so you show the delete button show and now if we go in preview what we can see is that if i have on the new line since we have only one line so the item count is only one then i don't see the cross now but if i start to add a new line and add a new line add a new line then i show the crosses to delete the rows so that I can actually delete the first one or the third one, right? And when I go back to have only one item in the count, I don't have any more to cross, right? That, that's quite cool, right? Was was super simple. Now, there is a bit uh, of a problem because actually if we start to type inside this uh, this fields right and we want to add a new line you see everything disappears this is a problem right of course because it doesn't take in the memory what i i wrote right and to do so we can add something on the button again Right, I select my button and on the click or tap, what I have to do is a new action and I have to select edit row data. Okay, the before was uh, on action nine is still uh, called something like update uh, data or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Now they changed the label so that it is a bit more clear of what this repeater action does and it's edit row data. I select my repeater, of course, this item, I add the new values where I want to add these values. Of course, I want to add these values in the same fields where I'm tapping, right? So input fields. And what I have to put here, 
is what I'm writing. And on the FX, I create a local variable. The local variable that could be like, uh, I don't know, uh, input is the text on widget input field. And what I have to put inside is exactly the local variable. So input, right? Should be, it's quite easy, right? It's, it's really logic. So I go in preview and when I start to type something, now that I add a new line, as you can see, the text remains inside and I can add something there, add a new line, something there, add a new line, and I can delete, for example, the first one, I can delete the, um, the middle one and whatever, right? And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me. So as usual, what I ask you is to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment. This makes a lot of difference for me and for my channel. And see you in the next video. Bye.